to quickly talk about how to open a Bank of America business account. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Now, let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to explain to you, step by step, how to open a Bank of America business account. Let's first talk about eligibility. So, when we speak about business account from a Bank of America's perspective, you got to either be a limited liability company, an LLC, or a sole proprietorship, or a corporation, a limited partnership, a general partnership, an unincorporated association, professional association, professional corporation. So you got to be either of, uh, you got to be one of those categories. If you're not, you cannot open a business bank account at the Bank of America. Very important. Now, one thing I want to see here is that Bank of America allows you to actually open a business checking account, you can do so three ways. There are three primary ways where you can actually open a business bank account, a business checking account. You can choose, uh, you can apply online. You can call a 1-800 number. So the number is 1-866-543-2808. The number again is 866-543-2808. That's option number two. Option number three, you can actually visit a financial center. So option number one, doing online or calling a, calling a, a toll-free number are great if you don't live in the vicinity of a Bank of America branch. But if you do, it's just a lot better just to go to a branch. Okay, so here are some documents that they may request when you are at the branch, especially if they're not able to verify things on your behalf. So they might add, they actually might ask for articles of uh, organization, certificate of, of uh, organization, or a certificate of formation if you're an LLC. If an account is open and additional documents require a signature, they will be sent to you, okay? So bottom line is you wanna have a business bank account at such a prestigious institution as Bank of America because the, the bank offers a lot of services to small businesses and if you want to take your business to another level it makes sense to actually have a bank account and one of the national behemoths in the financial services industry bank of america very important let me let me talk to you about the paperwork that you need to uh, acquaint yourself yourself with if you are trying to open a bank account a business bank account at the Bank of America. What do you need? You need names and address of the business. You gotta have your EIN, so this is basically your business tax ID number. You gotta have the date the business was established, the month and year, the country and state of legal formation. So the business must be formed in the US, okay? The country and state of our primary business operation. This must be a business operating in the US and uh, your personal information. So they will ask for your social security number and your date of birth. For everyone on the application, not just you, but everyone on the application, including those with at least 25% or more ownership and the controlling manager of the business also. Okay, so this is really important. So just gonna, I really need to stress, I need to emphasize this. Each, so the following individuals are considered beneficial owners. Each individual who directly or indirectly owns 25% or more of the equity interest of an entity. One individual with significant responsibility for controlling or managing the entity. For example, uh, the senior executive officer, the senior manager. Okay, so this is really important. And uh, so you, you, if you are the beneficial owner of a company, you can actually, you can actually apply online, not a problem. Okay. You just need to, to provide your name and title, your uh, name and address, your date of birth, your social, your passport number or country and uh, country of uh, issuance for foreign, foreign uh, individuals. 
and uh, you also need to provide a certificate that information provided that uh, I mean you need to certify that the information you provided is actually is actually accurate the thing I want to say here is that when you apply online the guidelines are stricter because the bank has no idea of who you are so you got to provide more documentation to make sure that the, the bank has all the uh, because there's something called KYC know your customer so the bank has to comply with uh, regulations making sure that they are actually onboarding uh, according with legit clients that they have all the information they need about all all their clients okay and so other documents depend on the legal structure of their business for example as far as LLCs they, the bank might ask you to provide a business license a trade name certificate fictitious name certificate certificate of trade name certificate of assumed business name the registration and license with trade name okay and so this is really what it is. It depends on the industry, but those are, I just want to give you an idea of what the bank might ask for. Now let's get into the different, the, the different account types that you have. So if you are trying to open a business bank account at Bank of America, you have a, you can choose from a constellation of accounts. So in terms of business checking, the thing is you can, business checking is really great. I mean, basically uh, the their, their program that they have, the primary program at Bank of America is called Business Advantage Banking. Okay. So this is basically a, a program that allows you to uh, get all the services that you need. Okay. And basically you have a full scope of tools and services all in one place. You can see on the screen here that you have uh, different bank accounts business bank account okay so besides business checking you also have business savings what we love with the Bank of America is that they have a constellation of savings account so basically you have uh, mobile banking powerful digital tools you can view you can actually view balances by category get cash flow projections and monitor key train key transactions at a glance through uh, a, a tool that they call cash flow monitor you can earn interest if you have a business savings account. You have a balance connect the, the feature, the balance connect feature for overdraft protection. Okay, and you can link account so you can uh, you link your business savings account to your business advantage relationship banking account or a business advantage fundamentals banking account. Okay, and you have extra business services. You can manage your cash flows with additional business services like uh, merchant services remote deposit online and more besides business checking and business savings you also have business CD products so here you have a uh, business featured CDs you have fixed term business CDs and you have uh, so you have other types of CD products the thing is if you want to uh, if you want Bank of, Bank of America to customize for you a CD product you can just give them a call 1-866-543 2803 remember that for business featured CDs the minimum is $10,000 for the for the fixed term business CDs minimum $1,000 okay and uh, so basically when we talk about the types of uh, business accounts that uh, Bank of America has you have business checking accounts merchant accounts business savings accounts and so on and so forth Let me talk to you about the benefits. Basically, Bank of America is a behemoth. They are a colossus in the financial services industry in the States, even globally. So having a business account with them carries a lot of benefits, a lot of benefits. First, you have a constellation of powerful digital tools. So for instance, you, you have profile linking. You can easily view and manage personal and business accounts with just one log, login. This is really good. You have Zelle for your business. So this is a fast, safe, and easy way for businesses to send, request, and receive money directly between eligible bank accounts in the US. You have the cash flow monitor that I was just speaking to you earlier about. So here you can get cash flow projections, you can monitor transactions, and you can view category balances. You have account management. Here you can customize employee account assets and seamlessly integrate bookkeeping with QuickBooks. Wonderful. And you have you have no fee with advantage relationship banking which you should seek anyway 
You have Erica. Uh, this is Bank of America's virtual financial assistant that can help you transfer or send money, search transactions, and more. And you have digital debit card. You can start using uh, your, your debit card immediately for in-store and digital purchases. You also have dedicated support, so you have help when you need it. You have privacy and security. Okay. You have dedicated, dedicated specialists and small business resources. This is really good. And on, on top of that, you have, uh, and, and this is really, and Bank of America has some of the, the most skilled customer service, called customer service reps in the, in the industry, hands down, hands down. And you also have some preferred rewards for business. So you can, so enrolling in this program is, is easy and there's no fee. So members have access to a wide range of benefits and rewards. So for instance, you have no fees on select banking services like monthly maintenance fees, inbound wire transfers and more you have 25 percent to 75 percent reward bonus okay rewards bonus on eligible business credit cards you have five percent to 20 percent interest rate booster on business advantage savings account you have interest rate discounts on new business advantage credit lines term loans and secure lending you have payroll services cash back on eligible payroll service fees and professional advice you have complimentary financial analysis with the Merrill, Merrill Financial Solutions Advisor. So the point I'm trying to make here is that you have a constellation of benefits. Now to qualify for preferred rewards for business, you will need an active eligible Bank of America Advantage banking account and a three month combined average daily balance of $20,000 or more in qualifying Bank of America business deposit accounts and or Merrill business investment account. Let's talk about account selection. So basically, as you saw, there, there is a there is a diversity of accounts of business accounts that you actually uh, have with Bank of America. So the question is, what is, what is there to consider when picking a type of business bank account at Bank of America? Well, here are some of the things that you should look at. What are the fees and minimum balances? So you need to ask Bank of America how much you will pay. Remember. The bank might waive fees if you keep a minimum balance or open a business credit card. Think about the cost of merchant services. So this is the cost of accepting credit or debit cards. So you want to estimate your monthly cost based on the size and frequency of your credit and debit card transactions with customers. Very important. What about the digital tools? You want to look for an account that provides access to business specific digital capabilities such as cash flow tools, integration with accounting platforms, and payments and invoicing ability. What about customer service? Think about customer service. How easy is how easy is it to get help and uh, can you meet with someone in person if you need to? What about perks and rewards? Well, you know, many accounts and affiliated credit cards have point programs or membership programs that will provide incremental benefits based on your relationship and account balances. And with uh, Bank of America, you certainly have this sort of a program. This is what I was just talk I was just talking to you earlier and this is the preferred rewards for business. What about ATM access? Do you need to withdraw cash or to make deposits through an ATM? You have to think about that. And the good thing is that, you know, either we are speaking about ATM access or branch access. If you need to visit a branch and speak with a specialist, how easy and convenient will it will this be? Well, Bank of America has branches all over the country, so this will be very easy for you. Okay, so as an owner, you will find that it's it's worthwhile to stop in regularly and build a strong relationship, strong working relationship with your bankers, who can be a source of valuable insights as your business grows. And I'm not even talking about when you when it comes time to apply for a credit for a business credit card or business loan. If you have a strong ally within the branch already, that person will actually help you out in terms of uh, getting your credit product approved. So this is really, really, really important. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to open a Bank of America business account. 
And uh, I already told you about a few things and I want to continue. I want to speak to you a little bit about business services. The cool thing is that Bank of America is a financial colossus that offers a lot of uh, business services, not just business bank account, but also services. For example, you have a uh, you can accept credit card payments. OK, that's what we call the merchant cash advance. I mean, the merchant services rather. So basically, you can you can actually accept credit card payments. This is really good. And the, the cool thing is you can you can start where you are and grow from there. OK, and you can always step uh, stay one step ahead with the power of uh, what they call a Bank of America intuitive technology. This is really good. And so combining merchant services, payment processing solutions with banking makes your relationship even more rewarding. And you you definitely want to have that. And what we love with the, the business services is that they also have cash flow monitor and connected apps that allow you to, for instance, keep track of your credit and debits with seamless account integration. You can set cash flow thresholds and get automatic projections based on scheduled transactions. You get expert support from experienced small business specialists. You also have payroll services. So Bank of America, with the help of uh, their partners, offers uh, options for your small business to help simplify payroll administ administration and other human resource tasks. So these options help save uh, your help your business save time and effort. So you can focus on what's important: your front office, your sales. Okay. So you, you so Bank of America has uh, had partnership. They have signed partnerships with ADP. And QuickBooks online payroll, so two very very important players. Now, so for for ADP, you can actually so the service they have is a hire to retire small business payroll and HR solution. So this is a so this service ADP has 24/7 payroll customer support, and uh, so basically ADP will free up your back office, allowing you to focus on what really matters more to you. And for the QuickBooks online payroll, this is a full service payroll service and access to uh, access format to HR services in one place. So you can pay your team, you know, and file your, pay your payroll taxes with confidence. Fantastic. And other uh, other services that you might be interested in is remote deposit. So here you can have a multiple check deposit. So you can actually deposit checks from almost anywhere with small business remote deposit online. Okay, this is really good. So you can have multiple check deposits from your home office or from your office, just regular office. You can use remote deposit online. Okay, the whole process is very easy. All you have to do is that Bank of America will actually give you the check scanner. So whether you when you want to make a deposit, simply uh, follow the steps that will come with the manual. OK, and uh, so you also have account permissions. One thing I need to say here is that for the remote deposit, you have to pay a minimum fifteen dollars a month and for it. So the service is not really free. And uh, so for account permissions, you can actually uh, use account management to have the power, control and flexibility to control all, all of your accounts. And Bank of America allows you to have access to your business credit score. This is really, really good. And we have seen this in, in, uh, in a lot of places that if you are, whether you are an established business or you are a new business, having, having the ability to, uh, you know, to, to access your business credit score is really important. And Bank of America does a great job. So what they do is, depending on the geography where you are applying from or where your business is located, they, they can give you access to the SBFE or to, uh, to the Paydex. So basically to Dun & Bradstreet. So at the, at the end of the day, it really depends on uh, what kind of uh, location you are at and what kind of uh, situation, what kind of needs you have. And I'm not, even, I'm not talking about the budget. Of course, the budget is really important. OK, so you have a clear idea of what we're speaking about. So in terms of all the business services, let me just quickly recap here. Business services that uh, Bank of America offers, the, you can accept credit card payments. That's merchant service. You, you have the cash flow monitor and connected apps. OK, you have payroll services, you have a remote deposit, you have account permissions, you have business credit scores. Fantastic. So you do have a list of uh, a list of uh, services that will actually help you as a, as a business owner. So you can further your strategy, you can further your brand to another level. But again, this is really, really good.
before we close to this conversation, let me just say that if you actually, uh, if you have an account with a business account with Bank of America, you could actually qualify for a credit card, a business credit card. And the bank has a, a, a catalog of very interesting business credit cards based on the rewards, based on the perks, based on the low interest rates, based on the APR itself. They, those cards are very, very interesting. So you have the Business Advantage Unlimited Cash Rewards Credit Card. This is a card that allows you to earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on all purchases everywhere, every time. And you can earn up to 75% more cash back on every purchase if you have a business checking account with Bank of America and you qualify for their preferred rewards for business tier. Okay, this is really good. Then you have the Business Advantage Customized Cash Rewards Credit Card. Here you can earn 3% cash back in the category of your choice. This could be a gas station. That's the, uh, that's the default. You have office supplies, stores, travel, TV, telecom, and wireless computer services or computer consulting services. 2% cash back on dining and per dining purchases for the first $50,000 in combined choice category. Okay, this is really good. And 1% cash back on all other purchases. You also have uh, the Business Advantage Travel Rewards Credit Card. This is a card that allows you to uh, to actually earn unlimited 1.5 points for every dollar spent on your purchases everywhere. Every time you uh, you spend, no matter how much you spend, points do not expire. You can earn three points for every dollar spent on travel purchases, car, hotel, airlines, booked through the Bank of America Travel Center. You can earn up to 75% more points on every purchase. Okay, if you have a business checking account with the Bank of America and qualify for one of the preferred high for the highest preferred uh, for the, the the highest business tier. Okay, and you also have the Alaska Airlines business credit card. This is a card that allows you if you have an affinity with uh, Alaska Airlines and you travel a lot with them, you can get seventy thousand bonus miles plus Alaska's famous companion fare from one twenty one dollars. Okay. You can get another Alaska famous companion fare every every year, so you have free check back. So you have a constellation of benefits. And then, last but not the least, you have the Platinum Plus Mastercard Business Credit Card. And here you you have you can save on interest with a competitive APR, zero percent intro APR on purchases for the first seven billing cycles. But yeah, this uh, this is another card that you might want to consider. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about basically how to open a business bank account at Bank of America. And I give you a few list, a few steps that you need to follow. If you do follow them, that'll be really great. So I will see you next time. But until next, please remember, stay marvelous.